Here we go. Sentry's still there. Just a fucking demo. Oh no, he's fine. Here we go. Don't don't fall for that. Don't fall for that. I want the sentry though. That's what I'm falling it's for. Bottom right. I hit him for a hundred. I told you not to fall for I it. Hit him for I don't. So before I start this video, I just wanted to say I really cannot fucking believe all the love and support I've gotten over the past uh, two weeks since I uploaded my TF2 video on matchmaking. You guys are the absolute best, and wow, I don't even know what to say. Uh, I literally went up like 600 subs from that video, and it's amazing, dude. You, like, from the bottom of my heart, from the bottle, from the bottle, what? <laughs> from the bottom of Giggles' heart, I thank you all. For, for the support I'm getting. Love ya. So this is like the third time I've been recording uh, audio for a video now, and it's always because every time I record my, you know, what I'm gonna say, the topic becomes irrelevant due to an update in TF2 or due to my experience uh, differing from my, you know, past experience, and it's all this other dumb shit, but I've come to a consensus now, and Matchmaking got better, but it's still fucking garbage. So let me get the biggest thing out of the way right now. Hackers, they're still here, Valve. They're still walling. They're still aimbotting. They're still spinbotting. I don't understand how you think giving a couple of hackers, because I've reported... I've only gotten notifications of two people that I've reported getting banned, when I've reported over a dozen. What are you doing, Valve? I mean, your system was stupid in the first place. You gave them six-month bans. Okay, that's all well and dandy, but they what is stopping them from making alt accounts and literally wasting $10 off their mother's credit cards and buying another pass just so that they can fucking hack again? You have to get an automated system up in TF2 because lord knows we can't depend on you for, like, weekly, monthly, even hell, even yearly updates. I have friends who have stopped playing matchmaking completely just because they don't want to get, like, these losses against hackers or obvious griefers, obvious wallers, and, and all this other dumb shit. Valve, look, I understand that TF2 is not as popular as it once was, but you need to... The, the, what, like the six people that are working on TF2 at the moment? You guys need to step it up. I'm sorry, but you guys can't leave TF2 in this condition. And to the Valve fanboys who just will not, just Valve does no harm. Listen, you guys gotta stop. I've always been a fan of Valve. I've, Valve is the reason I got into PC gaming in the first place. But you cannot give them a break just because, oh, they created my favorite franchise. <laughs> stop. Alright? Stop it. Bad. You're probably saying to yourself, wow, Giggle seems really tilted about all this, and you're right. I am very tilted. I am upset that, like, my favorite game, basically by default, I mean, I've never put 7,000 hours in any other game, it's just, it's turning to shit, and like, Valve takes two steps forward and like 20 steps back. Do not get me wrong, I realize that there is a very small team working on TF2, and I do re I do see that they are trying to talk to us through the blog, and I see that, and I appreciate that, because Lord knows some communication is better than none, but at the same time, it's not enough. It's not enough for the player base that this game has. This game has, like, I'd say at least, like, 30k players playing, like, a day. You know, that's a lot of people playing TF2 for only like seven people to be working on it. And this isn't even about competitive, just the competitive mode. Mm, casual and community servers are running rampant with these hackers as well. And it's it's foolish that you're not handing out VAC bans. You're giving them opportunities to make alt accounts and just keep on doing what they do. They they these, A lot of these people spend money on hacks in the first place. They buy the Malbox Premium and whatever. And... It's so simple for them to just buy another account. Basically, Valve, you need some type of automated system. You need a community system. You need something that if someone is blatantly hacking and they get like enough reports, they're banned. That's it. No questions asked. I understand that some people might report uh, the same people for just because they don't like them. And I understand that's an issue, but you have to think of some kind of system to stop these hackers because we can't wait for your next update to ban these guys because your player base is going down and and it's going lower and lower per day because of these idiots 
However, I am not such a pessimistic asshole that I don't realize all the positives that did come with the update. For example, solo queuing is now not fucking garbage. You can solo queue now and you, when you lose, you lose like, I lose like one fifth of a bar. Even on my main account, if you're solo queue, you don't lose that much. And it's, I don't know how the system works entirely, but solo queuing is now viable. Uh, you know, you don't have to get your like five friends of yours to play with to actually gain elo because now when you lose you lose like one fifth of a bar and when you win you win you win like a bar and a half it's actually not bad and i thank you valve thank you now it's actually fun to solo queue somewhat i seem to have stopped getting into uh madrid servers and shit unless i'm going early in the morning if i play early in the morning i get europe until like 12 o'clock my time it's 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 not perfect yet but when the peak hours are, are on, you know, like the peak uh, East Coast uh, hours are on, it usually doesn't put me in stupid ass servers like that anymore. So that's good, I guess. So why the fuck we can't have ping limits in our options? I don't understand. Valve, please, come on. Fucking, I don't want to. Please, Valve, stop. Also, if you do well, uh, if you do really well and you keep doing well over a set number of matches, you get a bonus uh, elo. You get more elo per win, apparently. Uh, that's nice as, as well, I guess. I mean, rank doesn't really mean shit in matchmaking, but that's cool. But even with these positives, matchmaking as a whole is just a terrible experience, especially for new players. Speaking of new players, I want to just address that I don't have a problem if you are new to TF2 and want to try out competitive. That is great. Uh, that is fantastic. Competitive TF2 needs a bigger scene. I agree with that 100%. However, something should be done about newer players that are getting into the scene and something should be done about them not playing experienced players so what i mean basically is placement matches need to be a thing like yesterday seriously there needs to be a first of all the ranking system should work like <laughs> if the ranking system worked uh that'd be fantastic and it could actually rank you against people and it kind of does that sometimes not all the time but sometimes i've seen tons of people complain that hey i'm rank one why am i getting ranked against like number five in the world number four in the world number three in the world and to the number threes number fours number five the you know the top players this is a role for them this is easy elo and realistically it shouldn't be that way it should be like csgo where you want to get a match where you'll get a somewhat even team now like i said in my previous video i understand that there are not enough ranks quote unquote etc etc in the world like there's not enough rank eights rank 18s rank 15s there's not enough to fight each other especially with the, them living in different parts of the world but placement matches should be a thing <laughs> I feel like I'm repeating myself here, but seriously, Valve, if you had placement matches, you could have a way easier system of getting ranked against players that are actually towards your skill level. Now, I just want to reiterate, basically, my point of this video is that the game matchmaking is dumb. It's really dumb right now, but you could at least make it acceptable if you could just create some type of way to stop these hackers from running rampant all over the place. I'll, there are other issues, sure, but at least people won't get their experiences ruined by, like, you know, like three spin botting snipers on the other team. Honestly, we can work on the other issues later. We can, you know, your community is so devoted that they will keep coming back, but this issue, this hacker bullshit, just it needs to get cut it needs to end and it needs to stop like two years ago seriously all right i think that's enough about negative stuff let's get some positivity in our lives shall we if you guys didn't know this game is kept alive by it's just fantastic community community makers map makers weapon makers item makers etc etc but one of the most positive things to come out of the community is tip of the hats if you don't know what tip of the hats is i'll briefly explain it to you as read on their website tip of the hats is a charity marathon benefiting one step camp programs for kids with cancer it is going to be live on September 16th to the 18th at twitch.tv forward slash tip of the hats. I tune into this event every chance I get and I think I haven't missed a single one. And it's really like the entertainment value is out of this world. They get famous YouTubers, competitive TF2 players, all the things you love about TF2, um, surf, uh, famous surfers. And they do this really just amazing live stream and they do it's kind of in the vein of like uh summer games done quick or winter games done quick where they read donations off in the chat and they read it out loud it's really one of the brightest things to ever come out of tf2 even if you can't donate even if you
you cannot uh, give any items or whatever, because you can donate items as well. I, I say just give it the exposure it deserves, you know, make people aware of this event and hopefully we can beat last year's goal. I think last year it was, uh, I don't know, 100,000 if I recall correctly. I can't remember. I, it was like a year ago. Now that I have a growing community on YouTube and somewhat Twitch, I just thought it would be great to help out in any way I can. Tip of the Hats is not sponsoring me in any way. No one came up to me and said, hey Giggles, can you talk about Tip of the Hat? But I really, I've always wanted to help this program, but I just could never do it uh, personally. And even if, even if some drastic thing happens where I can't donate money myself, I would hope that even if one person sees this video, watches the stream, and donates even a dollar, I would feel gracious to my community and to the to you guys because you guys are awesome. It's a month away, and I'll probably make a little standalone video uh, on the week of Tip of the Hats. But yeah, if you guys can help out. Uh, watch the stream, give it awareness. I would really appreciate it. Tell them Giggle sent you. All right, let me wrap it up here by saying one final thank you. You guys are the best. My friends, my YouTube subscribers, my Twitch followers, you guys are one of the most just humble and just fantastic people I've ever met. I cannot believe I'm part of this, this great community. Thank you guys so much. Peace. <laughs>